you know what they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. But sometimes the apple stays on the tree and fucks its cousin. Oh, did that make sense? Alrighty, well, hi guys. How are you? And you know what, come to think of it, probably not well after you find out what we'll be talking about for this video. So about 10 months ago, I made a video called, Hey, Let's Not Kiss Our Family. In this video, I reacted to a guy named Chris Monroe, aka Prank Invasion, and in his original video, he thought a really cool and interesting prank idea would be to kiss his own mother on the lips. That's right, this guy thanked the woman who carried him for nine months and brought him into the world by forcing her to kiss him in front of millions of people. Back in the day when I filmed this video, I would call it mommy makeout content for reasons. And in case you're wondering what happened to our friend Prank Invasion since I reacted to his video, uh, he deleted his whole channel, but I guess he needed to make room in his schedule to kiss the rest of his family. So apparently I'm turning this into a series 10 months later, because today I will be reacting to a YouTube channel named Truly. Now, you might have heard of this channel because they used to go under Barcroft TV. I don't know what happened to the original name. I don't know if there were any legal issues or whatever. I don't know if they were just looking to rebrand, maybe. Uh, but they were formerly called Barcroft TV, but now they go by Truly. I, that could have been one sentence. So Truly, I would say, is almost like the internet's version of TLC. If you've seen some of their content, I'm sure you would agree. Um, but basically, this channel makes a lot of miniseries based on people from all walks of life. But one of their most popular series is called Extreme Love. <laughs> love that is extreme. This is due to the fact that most of the couples you see in this series are very bizarre and unconventional from normal relationships. So most of the videos in this series consist of polyamorous couples or couples with very out of the box or strange lifestyles or fetishes. Uh, but my personal favorite in this series is called We Love Having Clown Sex, which you know is just me having sex in general. And people find these topics very interesting, including myself, which is why these videos tend to get a lot of views. But <laughs> there comes a point where these videos go from slightly odd, but fascinating to unsettling. The video that we'll be reacting to today is called, I Married My Cousin. Sweet Home Alabama has entered the chat. And on that note, welcome to this week's episode of Hey, Let's Not Kiss Our Family. Woo, yay, cousins making out. The original video is about three minutes long, so we will be spending the next several minutes suffering together. So here it is, I Married My Cousin. Take it away. In Eagle Mountain, Utah, Angie and Michael. Oh, wow. Oh wow. I normally hate watching people kiss anyway, but knowing the context of this video makes it so much worse. Went searching for love and found each other almost right away. I mean, yeah, all they had to do was go to the family reunion. We've known each other all our lives. We've been each other's first crushes, first kisses, and we happen to be first cousins. <laughs> do this anymore. They're acting like this is so normal when it's not. This story would be kind of cute if they were childhood best friends or high school sweethearts. And I hate his face right after she says that. He's acting like it's so funny to be boning your cousin. It's not. Their strong connection began when they were just kids. They're like in second grade, like seven, eight years old, and we immediately clicked. And we're like best friends. We were slow dancing in the closet. We got caught kissing. I got pulled aside by my parents and they said, what's going on? And my mom said, cool it, Angie. I don't like how they act like it was cute that they were like kissing and canoodling at such a young age. I never say canoodling. I don't know why that came up. Just because you're first cousins, that doesn't mean you have to be each other's first kiss, first relationship, first, you know? disgusting we felt like from then on we were kind of kept apart and it felt unfair it felt a little bit like romeo and juliet except instead of these warring families it's the same family ah yes romeo and juliet 
Alabama edition. But in all honesty, Shakespeare, sweetie, we are so sorry. We're so sorry that an ugly incest bitch like that Listen, Shakespeare did not write Romeo and Juliet, which is actually speculated to be about a male actor he was in love with at the time, for these two cousin fuckers to monopolize the entire thing. Not on my watch. You know, if I had a watch right here, it would not be on it. That's for sure. Nine months ago, we saw each other for the first time in 10 years and just fireworks. It felt like we picked up where we left off. Immediately was like, she's still super hot. This man said Angie was still hot. Not that she was just hot, but she was still hot. So this man has been pining over her for years before they reunited. Reunited once more, the canoodling cousins then had the dial- ah, Oh my god, I hate it here. It's almost like they're purposely shoving it in our faces to show how attracted they are to each other. No, they really said, I'ma be horny on Maine for my cousin. Listen, I get it. Quarantine is lonely. I'm sure we would all like to be with someone we're not with right now. But you know, you don't have to risk it all for your first cousin. I promise you. Quarantine's not gonna be that long. Like, mm -mm -mm. well, we'll see. The infamous Polaroid. So they posted this photo on the family Facebook page, leaving no question they were way into each other. Not the family Facebook page. Listen, I get it. They're consenting adults. At the end of the day, they can put whatever they want on the internet, but this is just out of pocket. But the way that they're just so unapologetic about putting all of this out on Facebook makes me wonder if they're actually in love or if this is just some sick fetish to them. Because it's pretty clear between the Facebook post and the obnoxious kissing throughout this entire interview that they get off on the shock factor. So I'm very suspicious and also disgusted. Suspicious and disgusted. They w were shocked and horrified, horrified. I wonder why. Since then, first cousin Kathy has become their nemesis. Listen, I haven't heard a word that this woman has said. She could be the devil, but I already love you, Kathy. Like I am already making my stand account for you. She's the biggest hater in our family. And I'd really like to talk to her face to face to figure out like why all this hatred? No one else is as hateful as you. Where's it coming from? You know, I don't think that is exactly the right definition of hater. You know, a hater is someone who usually makes fun of things you can't choose, but you guys chose to fuck your cousin. You know, no one else made that decision for you. Listen, Michael, you chose to stick your you know what in Angie's you know where. No one else made that decision for you. And now they're going to get their chance as Kathy's agreed to meet on home turf in Wyoming. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready for Queen Kathy to drag these people through the mud. Kathy, you better, Queen, you better give it to us. Hi, Kathy. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Oh, this is already so awkward. Oh. Let me just ask you, per like, personally, like, imagine your mind. It's just, like, your best friend, the person you're most attracted to, the person that you want to be around the most, just so happens to be your cousin. Yeah, I wouldn't want to imagine that. That's when you put the brakes on and back away. Thank you. Thank you, finally, someone with some common sense in this video. Why is he so shocked? Does he know that your immediate family doesn't also have to be your immediate dating pool? Bro, what's not clicking? What's not clicking? You can stop yourself. You have the same blood running through your veins. Yeah, and so you just go with someone else, even though you know this person would be the one that would make you the happy. Hey, I yes, yes, you do. You don't need to date your cousin if you're attracted to them. You need to get some therapy. Hey, I have a cousin, yeah. as well as you guys. I think she's beautiful. I don't want to go Don't you love how Kathy's explaining it to them like they're five years old? They look at her as if she's the crazy one. Ooh, how funny is that? So it stops right there? It stops right there. She's so disgusted. Oh my God, but this is exactly what I mean. They act like she's the freak for not wanting to get freaky with her family members. Like I said, what is not clicking? What is not clicking? So what's- I don't want to be known yeah. as the cousin of the incest cousins. Okay. I need a break. Break. Do we blame her for being upset? 
I am for sure Team Kathy on this one. I will forever be Team Kathy on topics like this. And you know what? This is a Kathy-friendly space on my YouTube channel. But this interview with Truly was not their first rodeo. They have been in the media plenty of times before. They actually were on a Dr. Phil episode less than a year ago. So I'm not going to show the whole interview because it's pretty redundant to what you saw in this interview and I don't want to put you through that again. But they basically talked about how it's illegal for them to get married in Utah. So they decided to get married in Colorado where it is legal. And we come to find out that Angie apparently has kids. I'm pretty sure they're not Michaels. I'm pretty sure they're from a different marriage, but still disgusting. Honestly though, I feel so bad for her kids just because I can't imagine the long-term damage that they'll have because their parents are related or I guess their stepfather is related to them as well as their mother. I, well, duh, parents are related to each other, but you know what I mean? They're related to each other, not to like each other. Like the parents of the kids, obviously the parents are related to the kids, but the parents are related to each other as well. That could have been one sentence too. But Dr. Phil brought in a clinical psychiatrist to speak with them for obvious reasons. And this is what he had to say. I can't tell if I'm more upset and disturbed that they enjoy this <laughs> or that they're damaging their children. I mean, he's right though. I, I, can't, I just can't imagine any good outcomes where the parents of these children are also first cousins to each other. But the fact that Michael and Angie are putting her children through this situation just shows how selfish they are. Right, and damaging their children in what way? Well, they're breaking a law. And you know you're openly breaking a law and you're setting that example. That's just even the start of child abuse. Well, There's other scary. deeper issues. It's child abuse. I mean, I wasn't gonna say it was child abuse necessarily, but you know what, points were made and I agree with those points. Because you have to live by the law. We should live by the law. You obviously don't want to do that. No, we're trying to petition to get the law okay, changed. Okay, but there's a law and you're breaking it and your children see it. We haven't admitted to any section in the state of Utah. I understand. It's still incest. It's considered incest in Utah. That's what I mean. And you live there with your children. Yeah. And we, what if we move? Well, then move. And then we then, might. Then, okay. Move. There's laws for a reason, Michael. You know, you're still married, you're still disgusting, and it's still illegal. And the fact that you two are setting this example for Angie's children and the fact that you enjoy all this attention is disgusting. But basically Michael and Angie continue arguing with Dr. Phil and the clinical psychiatrist on whether or not incest is illegal still even though they got married in a different state which you know it is obviously. But this was a year ago right? You know maybe a lot has changed since then. And you would be correct. But the most recent update I have from them is that they're expecting a child. A biological child at that. According to an interview with Inside Edition from January 2020, so literally like two or three months ago, I don't know, time isn't real anymore. They said that they are due to have a baby in May. Cousins Michael and Angie are having a baby. Not only are they harming the current children in their lives, but they will also be damaging the child they're bringing into this world. Obviously this is incest. And typically with incest babies, they're at a much higher risk for having physical and mental disabilities. You know, I understand they're consenting adults and at the end of the day, they can do what they want and I'm sure this video isn't gonna stop them from, you know. But the fact that they're not only involving Angie's children in it, but bringing a biological child into this world, they're just dragging their kids down into their situation for possible future embarrassment and like I said, possible physical and mental disabilities for their unborn child, which in my opinion is super selfish. And the first episode of this series, Hey, Let's Not Kiss Our Family, the video with Chris Monroe is obviously very cringy, but at the end of the day, it was just a prank. You know, maybe the only long-term effect of that prank is having millions of people on the internet grossed out and maybe possibly an awkward relationship with his mother. But this relationship, on the other hand, has real life consequences. And I don't think Angie and Michael know or care. And it's clear that Angie and Michael love the attention and the shock factor from their relationship. And I'm sure making this video doesn't help. So Angie, Michael, if you're watching this, hold on. Here's that attention you ordered. 
you're welcome. Uh, but what do you guys think about this situation? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Although I'm pretty sure I know what the verdict of this video is going to be. Yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I also have my social medias down below as well. So if you'd like to follow me on places other than YouTube, everything is in the description. But yeah, thank you so much. I love you guys. And I'll see you next time with the brand new video. I love you. Bye. Woo!